2D arrays in Java can be kind of hard to understand, especially for beginners. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use 2D arrays in Java and do an example of how to use 2D arrays for a lottery ticket. Hey, it's Alex back again, helping you code quicker and easier with program examples. On this channel, I make tutorials just like this all the time, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So you may have heard of 2D arrays um, and you may have thought, what the heck am I using these for? Is this just supposed to make my life a living hell for the exam? Well, that's exactly what I thought when I first started, but there's actually a good reason why you're learning it. The screen you're watching this video on is a 2D array of pixels, probably 1920 by 1080 or something like that. And each of those pixels has its own RGB values, making it light up different colors and make different patterns on the screen. And having a set of rows and columns of RGB values like that makes it really easy for computers to refresh all the time and show videos like this. So anything with rows and columns can be stored as a 2D array. It's like having a quick table you can access all the time. So let's do that lottery ticket example of 2D arrays in Java. I did a video covering normal arrays in Java, just 1D arrays, so if you want to check that out, you can uh, click it here on the link in the card, and it's also in the description. So let's go ahead and make this lottery ticket example. So go to File New Java Project, uh, we'll just call it our lottery ticket, ticker, ticket, and hit finish. Then go under it, click source, go to new class. And this will set up our Java file. We'll just call it uh, lottery. Man, I cannot spell today, guys. Lottery ticket. Okay, and public static void, finish. Boom, we're done. Okay, now we actually have to code it. To make a 2D array in Java, it's really simple. First, we think about what values is it gonna have? Well, our lottery ticket um, usually has integers. Uh, so we'll do integers. So we just type int and then two boxes just like that. And we'll name it our lottery card. And we'll set that equal to the values in our 2D array of rows and columns. So we'll just slide those in some curly braces and we'll do the first row. The first row has curly braces too. And we'll just set up our numbers. We'll have it be three by three of just some random numbers and we might have like sevens going diagonally. We have our first row here and then add a comma and just for simplicity's sake, we'll try to align it up a little bit at the second row of numbers. Just like this. Okay, we have our second row. And then the third row, just some more numbers. Like that. And you just stored a 2D array. Now that's one way to do it. You can also make a 2D array in Java just like this. We'll call it our lottery card two. And we actually just set the dimensions here. So we say it's three rows and three columns wide. And we actually have to put the keyword new here. Please excuse the really loud train outside. It's state fair season and I live on the fairgrounds so I had to sit in 30 minutes of traffic just to turn right into my house. With this we have... The problem with this way is that in order to store the values you have to manually do it like this. I would set the first row and the first column value to 20 and then I'd go in here again and say the first row the second equals 15 and you'd go all the way down and you'd end up with something like this. The numbers inside of these boxes or the square uh, brackets are the index. An index is always start at zero, so that's why you see zero, zero is 20, like that. And then zero, one, which is actually the second one, is 15. And it will always go row, column. And one way I can remember this is array starts with a row. So that might help someone out there. So let's prove to ourselves that this is actually working. Let's print some stuff to the screen. And we'll print, uh, let's say, the first value. So let's try to get this 20 out of the lottery card 2D array. So we would, let's make this a little bigger, so you can see. So we uh, get our lottery card, which is the name that is actually this 2D array. We could just refer to it by the name. And then we would go into it by typing our square brackets, go to the first row, and the first column. And if we run this, we should get this 20. So let's try that. And we get the 20. 
if we wanted to print out all of the values here I'm just gonna add some space here for the next thing we're gonna do if we want to print every single value out of a 2d array we can go through it with something called a for loop I haven't gone over this on my channel don't worry about like how to type this just follow my lead just like that Cody nerdy stuff nerdy coding stuff don't really worry about what's going on I'll explain everything okay here's an example of printing out multiple values out of your 2d array now this won't get every value but I kind of just want to show what the idea is here so let's save it and run it we see our little divider we printed out and then we see 20 7 and 47 and that's actually this diagonal right here I'll be going over for loops in a separate video so don't worry about this but in a nutshell we're pretty much running this code three times and this variable i is changing we're getting the element 0 0 and then in the second time we're getting element 1 1 and then the third time we're getting element 2 2 so that's why it's printing this diagonal 27 47 and then 27 47 okay let's try to get out all of the elements in this array I'll add another divider. So instead of having i be the same one, this will print a diagonal, we want two indexes so we can go all the way across. And it's kind of hard to understand. Um, don't really worry too much if you don't get the whole thing. You'll get it eventually, because I'm going to make sure that everyone on this channel gets the proper coding knowledge that they deserve. Because I know when I was learning how to code, all of this was like so foreign to me. I had no idea how like the TAs or the teachers did it. Um, it was just, it was really hard for me. So that's my goal on this channel to try to help you guys out. Okay, and now here we'll go into our array and put I and J. This piece of code right here will print out everything on the first row, then the second row, then the third row. So if we save it and run it, we'll see that in our third little divider here we get 2015-7 and let's see if that's right yeah we got 2015-7 and then 8-7-19 and 7-13-47 so this was just a little example of a 3 by 3 lottery card with like the 7s going diagonally and uh, we won we won the jackpot Question of the day, do you have any assignments or projects related to 2D arrays in Java? Connect with me and the comments and engage with this community of new programmers just like you. Make sure to subscribe so you see all my videos the day they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Catch ya.